And we're recording. Are we getting on, lads? Oh, hey, look at this. Look at the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I this guy looks a bit like Jesus. I don't know. You oh. know where you're getting that from. You know, I don't know. If, if it's, just, it's, it's just the beard, maybe, the hair. Who knows? <laughs> How about you introduce yourself? Boss crack lads. How are you getting on? My name is Irish Jesus. I am that crazy. Dude that dances the streets of Dublin dressed as Jesus. There you go. How are you getting on? <laughs> so uh, you might know him from uh, the Tri Channel as well, or his channel, The Irish Jesus. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm actually I'm, I'm all over the internet, really. If you just Google Everywhere. Irish Jesus, I'm going to be seeing you on the screen. There we are. <laughs> I am. Um, man himself. Fucking Jared told me uh, that you were getting on when my friend was here, and she she always watches the Tri Channel and. Uh, when I told her, she was like, fuck off, no yeah. way, like, yeah. <laughs> she freaked, like, she was like, that's so cool, <laughs> I was like. <laughs> see, I don't see them reactions or ever feel them, so I don't ever realise that it's that big a deal, I'm just like, oh, I'm just doing a video today, then I'll go home, eat my breakfast or lunch, do nothing, but then there's a whole world out there that's like, oh, this is unreal, I'm like, I don't <laughs> see that bit. <laughs> yeah, do you ever read the comments in those, in those videos oh. when you're in them? Yeah, I dive into the comments. That's I, you know what I mean. That's how I kind of keep my channel growing because I react and I, I kind of you know I talk to the people. Yeah. So it's good crack. That's a good way to have it. Yeah. You have to say left or right. You just say left or right now, and I'm going to take it. Uh, sure. we'll go right. We'll go right. That's where we're going. Oh, right. look who it is! Oh, hey, look, I'm on a podcast right now. But yeah, say hello, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest painter artist guy I know in Dublin, Ross Creations. Check him out. Sorry, I'll just give you a quick shout out. I'll text you later. <laughs> that was amazing. Do you know that guy? Never heard of that guy. <laughs> oh, he's, cool. he's really Ross cool. Creations. Yeah, he's really cool. He's, uh, I met him when I did uh, a charity hitchhike around the whole of Ireland. And he came along and it was cool, so I can't believe it just bumped into him, that was fun. Jeez, how long did, how long did that take you, the hitchhike? Right, so we did, uh, I think it was last year we started it, and it took us about a week-ish, something like a week-ish. Um, we started in Dublin, and we had to hit every coastal county in Ireland. So we had no money, we weren't allowed to spend any money, we weren't allowed to get, like, everything had to be free. If you didn't get a hitchhike, you had to walk it. Do you know what I mean? And we had to rely on like businesses giving us food, like pubs and restaurants, like as a donation to the charity, essentially. Yeah. Um, it took us about a week to get around. We stayed in random people's houses. We got hitchhike in the back of like vans where we have parties. <laughs> Went up over the border in Northern Ireland, like playing rebel tunes in the back of a van. It was deadly. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> shots. Oh, but man, it was. One of the best, best crack ever, like. And we ended up raising like two grand for a house at the end of it all, so it was good crack. That's really good, yeah. Sorry now, if you can hear people in the background, my mic is <gasps> super... Derek, your game is ready! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm doing a podcast! Shut <laughs> <up>! <laughs> Hi, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that's that's really good luck. Yeah, so, always keep myself do you, busy. Do you do much charity work yourself? Well, I actually work in a homeless hostel. That's my full-time job. Oh, right. So, oh. Yeah, so pretty much charity-orientated. <laughs> wow, that's, yeah. that's incredible, yeah. Doing that for six years in there. Meanwhile, on the side, I've been doing the fax videos, and then they turn into try. And then all the people that we met along the way, started making big YouTube channels, and now I'm on all their channels. Just kind of a great community now, and a big circle. Keep oh, yeah, going it's around. Creators. It's all great, great crap. Yeah. So, to someone who's never seen the Troy channel before, what would you try and describe it as? Uh, yeah, essentially the Irish BuzzFeed. Because everybody knows BuzzFeed, essentially. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy Irish people sitting at a table, and then, boom, we have to react to whatever's given to us. 90% alcohol. Oh, shit, that's going to hurt. Or some, like, horrible tastes and candies. That's going to be funny. You know what I mean? It's just crazy shit we have to try. Sounds all right. It's oh, like, I, I think the, like political shit. Yeah. I think the best... No, I think the best ones are definitely the drink ones because just fucking oh, everyone freaking <laughs> out. They're like, oh! 
Huckleberry yeah. flavoured everything. How'd, how'd that go? That one was all right. You know what I mean? Huckleberry is nice. I'm not going to lie, but it's a shame we don't have it here in Ireland because you can't get any of it. That's the worst part about a tri shoe. When you taste something that's amazing, but it doesn't come in your country. I'm like, wait, what? So this is like one time try ever? <laughs> oh, that's, that's yeah. sad. Like. Sad out. For sure, look. We're going to try shit that no one, not a lot of people ever get to do. And I've ticked off a lot off my bucket list on the try and on the fact channel. All the react channels, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So what, what would you say was your favourite episode to film? Ooh, favourite episode of the try. Uh, ooh, this is a hard one. Okay, okay. Favourite food tasting one. We literally did one last week where it was Italian. Italian food. And normally they give us like Italian crisps i'm like yay crisps again but they gave was like oh it was like cheesy melted pizza and oh. then what those things cannolis but it was like a cannoli with like this like incredible lasagna on the inside it was like a cannoli lasagna i was like what is this shit do you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> i'm like where did you get this imported or where's this shop i need a shop probably get it in iceland man yeah the worst <laughs> try video the worst try video i did was uh uh Irish people try the hottest chicken wings in the world. Oh, God. That, that was the worst time of my life. It was nearly next to calling an ambulance or checking myself into the hospital. It was severe. That was, it was bad. We went to a chicken wing place it called uh, Just Wing It or something like that, Wing It in Tala or something like that. Yeah. And we did this challenge. So we had the shop to ourselves and they were giving us like the hottest ones on the menu. And then they had like one special one that wasn't on the menu at the end, which is basically just fucking, it was like, it was extract. You know the stuff that's supposed to go into oh, a big God, cauldron yeah. of food? Yeah. They put like fucking big dollops on me and your man's yoke, thinking it'd be funny. By Jesus, we were dying for a full hour. Uh, we had to wear goggles and masks. That's how hot this shit is because it burns your skin. Oh, my God. oh yeah, guess what? We put that in our bodies. Why? Don't know why. For a few quid and a few laughs. <laughs> yeah, so everyone can have a laugh, yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> uh, well, I that's home, I like, about that channel. Gold on my face. And then I was, like, cramping. And I was, like, man, call an ambulance. It was, like... And then I found <laughs> out that he was also as bad as me. The next day, they had to apologise. And the shop oh. had to apologise. Because oh they went too God. far. It was an accident. They just thought, a dab will do it. And the dab did it. <laughs> a dab overdid it by a long shot, it seems like. <laughs> On the brink of dead. Oh, man. <laughs> Wasn't even funny. Worst 50 quid ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Jesus, that's, that's bad. Out. Yeah. That's out. So, see, that... this is the thing. They don't tell you really. Obviously, that was an out-of-studio shoot. So, we knew we were going to try the wing, but we didn't really know it was going to be bad. And then they don't tell us every time we go in what we're doing on the day. It's just a surprise. Or yeah. who we're with. So, it's all just pure reaction. They don't want us to know it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jesus. Woo! Then, but I, <laughs> I, I love the thumbnails on these. It's just someone like really confused face, scared someone face. Either confused or having the worst reaction of their life. Yeah, it's so pretty coughing much coughing up a lung. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love their all. It's so Irish. They're all drink related. Exactly. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. best. The best ones are drink because yeah, those, those are the ones I watch most. Biggest viewership is like probably 70% uh, United States, so it's all for them. We really targeted that, you know what I mean? Yeah, but like, nah. I, I don't know, they love it, like, they really get on board with it and connect with you and get in the comments. And then I've gotten like an overflow of them onto my channel. That's how you do it, you know what I mean? We're all trying to grow. And then oh, so someone, I was gonna ask you about that. Yeah, how do you grow your channel? So, like, you're doing pretty damn good. Well, I don't, I don't know what's good anymore because when I, when I, back in the day, when I first started being Jesus, we started on Facebook, didn't know anybody, didn't know any of the scene, this was when Keen Toomey was like big on the scene then, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then my friend Fabu D, did you ever hear that guy, he's a black guy that does videos? Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. We're supposed right. to get him well. He was the reason why I started doing videos. He got me in my first video dressed as Jesus. Uh, I met up a fucking makeshift Jesus costume of bed sheets and pillowcases. And then from there on, I was like, dude, I need to stay doing this. But before he posted the video, I was like, dude, you need to tag me. He's like, well, you don't have a page. I was like, shit, I need to make a page. 
went home, made the page, he posted the video. I got my first thousand followers off that video, which usually takes a long time for a lot of people to build that up. So it was like a nice boost. And then from then on, I just started doing videos with him. I come up with my own sketches. Um, but sketches started dying off then. They're too long. Nobody watches like four minute sketches anymore. Yeah, everyone's something like just fast. TikTok's Snapping, the yeah. way now, and I can't I was going to say that, yeah. Oh, I'm not good at it. I don't, We're I the still same. can't get it. <laughs> We're on everything except TikTok. Yeah, we have, we have some opinions about TikTok. <laughs> it's hard. It makes no sense. Some of the shit's funny, I'm not going to lie, but some, like 90% of it is just pure. What are we watching? Yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but or just people dancing, like. The yeah. only reason why anyone should use TikTok is because on the off chance that you get a viral video, all your fucking, from all your pages are linked straight there as a click of a button, and you're straight on. So if I got a viral video, I guarantee I get a thousand new subscribers to my YouTube page. That's why you have it. Well, yeah, it's a handy reason to have it. <laughs> oh, you're on my page now. Look at that. Oh, look at the way I can see this. This is technology. <laughs> yes. Just so everyone can see your stuff and if people want to go check you out, they can. Yeah, right. Go on. That's that video there. What's it called? Uh, yeah. Jesus Down Streets Dublin. That's my most viral video. That's the video that gave me my name. I've stuck to it since. That looks class. Yeah, it's gone viral every year since for many different reasons. This what year, the comments like this year, I am the opposite of the the coffin dance guys. I am big in Korea, apparently. I can <laughs> see, I can see that everywhere. Oh, what, what the fuck? Your comments, yeah, English. Oh my so god! If you just type in uh, "dancing Jesus" meme then I, it'll just show you like hundreds of pages of videos. And they're all getting millions of views and I'm not getting any known mentions, no, no, and that's the worst part about being viral. Like you ever see a viral video and you're like, that was hilarious, but you don't know who it is. You don't click to see what's going on. That's the worst part about it. No, that's yeah. a lot of shit, yeah. That, that's difficult. That's that hard to bad outlook. But sure, look, many people go viral every day. They don't even mean to. You can't yeah. predict your viral video, so. Sometimes they're like, oh, you should have had your name and watermark on it. I'm like, I didn't know. This was but a the, shit video. It was lot, you know what I mean? <laughs> the thing with it being going viral as well is you can be the biggest person in the world, but you could only be it for a day. Yeah. Uh, with a lot of people, it's about carrying it on afterwards. Yeah. You go viral once, but it's how you keep going after that. What, what's that I, been like for you? I've had, so since I started, it was kind of a slow process. So I did, any views were views to me. And every time I got more views than the last one was crazy. But now you've gone so numb to all that that like, I don't know, 10,000 views is kind of like, oh, damn. Like, that'd be good on YouTube. We'll be shy on Facebook. Do you know how it works like that? It's weird. Can send, that, yeah. send that our way, will you? <laughs> I appreciate that any, any day of the week. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I, that's the thing. Am I, am I numb to, like, my own numbers and my reach? Like, I'm like, okay, I've got 20,000, 22,000 followers or subscribers on YouTube, but... My videos will only get like a thousand views or so in the week. I'm like, a thousand views? I don't know. Like, what story with people going on about how many subscribers they have if they're not actively getting like close to the same amount of viewership? It's hard. It's all numbers. It's all yeah. clickbait. Oh, man, I'm telling you. That's why we try to make our titles so uh, weird. It's usually something we'll say during the podcast because we, we come up with some pretty weird shit. Like, yeah. yeah. Normally you'll say something like really weird during the podcast like over and then we'll over like, something like boom, 40 minutes or an hour someone's gonna say something really weird and we're like that's the title i'm trying <laughs> to think of like uh an example at the moment uh bread and butter sandwiches with ghost hunters was yesterday's uh, bread and butter sandwiches with ghost hunters yeah. yeah they don't butter their bread in the states apparently what yeah we were like oh yeah i, I was talking right. about the story all right i'm not gonna tell the full story pretty, pretty much <laughs> A paranormal story that I have that has to do with ham sandwiches. So stupid. Wow. And they were like, <laughs> and they were just like, um, oh, like, uh, what toppings are on the sandwiches? And I was like, oh, it's like butter. And they were like, wait, what? Butter. Butter. <laughs> and I was just like, what do you mean? And they were like, oh, were the sandwiches toasted? And I was like, no, they were just bread. Ah, like, uh, here. <laughs> and uh, we just put butter on it. Have, and they were like, I, why did they do that? 
they don't get butter. They just don't get butter. They just don't get butter on normal bread. They can only have it on toast. Yeah, when they want it on any other meal, they cover the shite in butter and syrup and yeah. everything else. <laughs> They're pancakes. Yeah, man. I mean, Every taste pancake, nice, but then they kill you. I've been to IHOP, and I think I lost a year of my life <laughs> off of a meal. <laughs> yeah, not far off it. Um, I, I was the same in the States when I went to Perkins. I have talked about that? Perkins many a time. Yeah. Well, it, it's in Florida. It was in South Dakota. And, uh, oh, my God, the stuff I ate. Oh, yeah, these massive breakfast bowls, these massive, like, uh, cheese melts. Yeah. Huge pancakes. <laughs> and well, I, I, I can't I say that. I live for man. that stuff. I can't say that. I, I lose a week of my life every time I have a fucking munchie box, man. <laughs> and you have one of those every day. Exactly. Oh. He tried no, to they get are yesterday good. during a the podcast. They uh, are class. Uh, Americans will not understand the classic... Chinese munchie box. It's That's my bread. Oh, deadly. Salt. Oh, what was that stuff they put on the chips? What was it there? Salt, salt and chili. Salt. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Like, yeah. what? What was I gonna say? Um, yeah. Shit. Every like ninety percent of our guests are American, so like, they lo- like I'll always mention munchie box and be like, "What's that?" Oh, really? And I'm just like, well, if you said to someone I'm in like, Colorado, they'd know I'm exactly like, what it is. I'm like, wait till you hear this. <laughs> Oh man! No, I swear I've been to the states. You both, you both been or just one of cunt? Just me. Just I you. Um, yeah, I went, I went over, and believe it or not, there's people over there that know the Tri Channel more than over here, because they, I, I got more interactions things. with people in America than I did here in Dublin. Uh, but they, they consume consume more media than we do. Probably do. Yeah, that's probably what it is. But it was freaky for me. So I live in a field in a small town in Ireland. Then you go to New York City and someone wants a picture with you. I was like, wait, stay, what, who? Do I look like a celebrity or you want my picture? You know what I mean? It's weird, weird shit. Yeah. Haven't had that experience yet. Uh, oh, you will, you will there one day. Something will go viral. <laughs> something. Maybe this podcast, if we're lucky. Tell you, man, let's do something crazy to make it go viral. Should I jump over a tree? There's a big tree right there behind me. I mean, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so doing, doing try videos in actually an hour. Um, don't know what they are, don't know what's going to be, but exciting. Gets me out of the house for the day. You do three videos when you go in now. So there'll be three of them done now, and then they'll go up throughout the months. All right, that sounds all right. Yeah. Any other crack going on with cheese, Matt Tinks? Uh, we're all right. Dar is uh, walking around the Zoom for some reason. Fair play to him. What's he doing in oh, I don't know. <laughs> He's probably telling like, his, his, his little cousins, like, don't come in. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah he, that. <laughs> he has the family over, the poor guy. Um, oh, well, they must have called the guards on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's it like in Dublin at the moment? I thought everything would be really weird. Yeah, I thought I saw too, but no one gives a shit. <laughs> um, no, one, no one cares. Like, in fairness, I'm not wearing a mask walking around. Should I be? I don't know. But well, I'm yeah, I haven't park. seen you walk past anyone, really. Oh, they're all walking. They're just... I'm up to ca- see the camera. I'll turn around for a second. And I'll show you the people that's around me. All right. Hold on a minute now. I don't know. Where's the turn around button on? With double tap? No. I'm, oh, God, I'm clueless here. I'm about to... Uh, I'm afraid. No, I'm not even going to do it. Case knock off the camera. <laughs> See, I like, I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, that guy on YouTube can't even work Instagram or screen. What are we on here now? Oh my god, Skype. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no it, was, it was kind of funny getting the. Uh, look at this guy, look. Not a care in the world. Come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was kind He's of funny getting. To to. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. Uh, good lad. It was cool. funny earlier get get the message off you and you, you're like, uh, are we doing are we doing the video for this now or what, what are we using now? Skype is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like I don't know. Most of the time I call people would be just like uh, probably a video chat thing I do. It'd be mainly uh, Instagram or not Instagram, Messenger. They're all there's so many things now. Oh, God. Would, you, would you be into Zoom? Oh, would you? I've done a full lap. There's Ross again. No way. <laughs> Oh, Good Zoom. Power. I tried the Zoom. I've tried the Zoom. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom is new. Zoom is scary for me. 
<laughs> yeah, same here. We messed we, around we, with it yesterday. It was yeah, hilarious. we tried it there last night. We've we have a live stream coming up tomorrow, and we were doing a few tests for it. And I I asked the boys if we could try Zoom because uh, you can show even if you're like um, if you're the one hosting the call, it yeah. doesn't show your face real small. It shows it in full. Oh. Yeah, so like we we said that'd be well better because everyone's gonna be talking and fucking having a laugh and yeah. Oh, that's cool. well. I tried Zoom, but it, it was for actually yeah, it was for a TV thing on um, Virgin Media. It was called <coughs> Love in Isolation, <laughs> and we had to go on a virtual date. So it was like a virtual blind date, and it was on Zoom. So the first time I used Zoom to go on television, I was like, what am I doing? I'm going to fuck this up. <laughs> like you don't, don't say something bad. Don't say something bad. Don't say something bad. I know it was weird because like it, it, it was, see TV is so weird. Like it's supposed to be a live one take date and then that was it. Then your man would be like, oh, can you say that again? Or can you laugh? Or can you react to that again? I'm like, we're supposed to be on a date, yeah. and there's some producer was sitting in watching, and oh, he kept putting in. Annoying. So it wasn't, it wasn't a flowy date, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, if they did it normally, it'd be so boring, like, oh, how are you getting on? Yeah. Would you be into the football? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Do you like yeah, the beard? It'd be real. It'd be real, Jared. <laughs> That's they, the... got, they got us to do, like, challenges. So uh, for my challenge, it was to reveal I'm Irish Jesus, and I have to dance with my costume on. Her challenge was... <laughs> She revealed that she collects um, My Little Pony, so she has a whole room full of them. So it was kind of like, okay, get something really interesting out there and then talk. It's like, okay, and that works, that works. Sure, Dara, don't you do the same? You collect uh, My Little Ponies. I do. Aw, aw. Big barrel of money. I effect. actually, no. They took all the shit out of my room uh, like last week because they were painting it, right? Yeah. And I, they were like, all right, uh, like my parents were like, go through your stuff and whatever like you don't want, we'll just put out in the shed. And so I opened this tin, right? And I don't yeah. know how the fuck this got here. What is it? What is this going to be? So there's a little, I have a Yu-Gi-Oh tin here, right? With cards oh, on. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, right? The best. That's, <laughs> look, yeah, look got dragons and everything man right have you got blue eyes <laughs> i don't sadly i have that well, so i opened the tin and fucking no <laughs> what is it it's a fucking my little oh! pony <laughs> i don't know how it got in there i was just like my friend was beside me when i was opening it Explain and she was yourself. like she was like where the fuck did that rainbow dash come from and i was like that's a blue eyes white pony that is that's, that's a blue eyes white wear. pony <laughs> <laughs> That's the best of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Monsters. <laughs> the strongest. I don't know. Um, I used to I, love Yu-Gi-Oh, man. And the same as, I I, I, opened, I was cleaning out my room once, and I was going through them, and I was like, oh, these are going to waste. But they're worth money if they're in good condition. Yeah. All I just gave them away to all my friends. And, and I'm all amazing. All sleeves. Oh, I, I see. Yeah. But, um, no, I, I don't collect My Little Ponies, contrary to popular belief. Uh, I do collect pop finals though. So he does though. He does. The yeah. pop teams, oh, they're cool. They're cool. Yeah, they're cool. I've I like, like twenty-three or twenty-four of them there somewhere. One, what, one time in this like world, I will be a pop. I will have my own one. I will see you. Yeah. You can get. <laughs> can you get custom yeah. ones? Yeah, you can get. You what? can get like uh, you can get little like normal ones that you paint, or companies do custom ones as well. Ooh. Sort that now. Oh, we'll get it done. I'd lash them out on YouTube. (laughs) This Unbox Therapy got his own one. Oh, see, that's cool. See? Who else got their own one? Right, we have to get... If we ever get, like, a proper studio, we have to get an Irish Jesus pop vinyl. We have to get two. Send one to you, and we'll put one in the background. (laughs) (laughs) I'm okay with that. I'll take it. It's (laughs) It's going in my YouTube videos right at the back on the shelf all the time there looking over me. (laughs) <laughs> would you oh, be a yeah. fan of the, the two johnny's podcast oh i do i do like the two johnny's we had them on the tri channel once so they were fun they're funny guys yeah they're real funny guys it's funny because i remember like i i don't know who right when i started doing them the people that were around doing videos were keen Toomey, dano mccormick uh fabu d um then Bob Videos, remember him? He was dancing around. Uh, what's your man now? I don't know. There were the names, but 
since then, like I've seen MC Decent, he's fucking deadly crack. Uh, who else is coming up <laughs> in the world? There's loads of good ones. I suppose all of us now, you know what I mean? We weren't, it was smaller back when I was starting, so I was afraid and didn't know how to get into it. Now everybody's joining in. Yeah, the there TikTok. is a lot of good videos now. Yeah. Well, it's, you... it's kind of a quality thing as well. Like if I'm recording on my phone versus if I take out this bitch over here, uh... I'd rather watch that. Well, see, all I film on is iPhone. I've never had a camera. I've never been able to edit on laptops. I just iPhone and iMovie, and then boom, that's my videos. iMovie, that's perfect. But it's kind of lacking in the stuff you can do. So you have to be creative in how you like use yeah. it because it is basic. Yeah. That's fair. Give the lift then. What was I going to say? I don't know how to phrase it, but, you know, so if someone was trying to like start up their own little social media stuff, how would you recommend going about it? Because obviously you've it. done a fair bit. Yeah, so I always tell people to do it because I've got a lot of funny friends and they're literally just being funny naturally around you, making you laugh. And I'm like, just turn on your camera and do that, like in general, and then you'd be funny online. But they're like, no, I'm going to deal with being online. I'm like, but you're funny. Some people just don't want to be, but if you really want to be and you're afraid to do it, just go for it. Because guess what? Yeah. You could stop doing it in a week if you don't like it. Yeah. That's why I always say, dude, like, just try something. You could do one video, you could get one view. It, could be it is scary. Because you get to a point then where you're like, right, I'm at this stage. People are starting to expect this from me. This is where it gets scary because then you're like, oh, now I have to live up to a hype. No, my yeah. videos have to be a thing. Um, then I'm getting scared. So just go for it at the beginning and don't care about it. And then it'll be easier. If you worry about it too much, that's stress, man. No, yeah, I, I completely agree with that. I, like, I think a, a big reason that we didn't start the podcast sooner is because we were all in school. And, uh, yeah. Uh, in, and like, I never forget. We, and yeah, I, I hate there was, school for us. Lives yeah, getting because, bullies. Because if, if anyone was a content creator or had like a YouTube channel or someone, everyone would rip the piss out of them. Really? Like, Back we then? Always, we always bring up like the one thing. I think it was it was in junior cert times. This right. must have been like third year. And uh, they were all in PE. And uh, so what happened was they're in the in the hall or the gym or whatever, yeah. They have this big, like, kind of uh, intercom system that has an aux. It goes into an aux cord. Oh, yeah. And someone, someone plugged their phone into it and started playing this lad's videos over the thing. Oh, over, really? you, over an intercom. Yeah, over Jeez. an intercom to his entire class. And he <laughs> fucking, he got pissed and fucking, he, now, he threw a dig at one of the lads. The guy Gee. who made the videos was about four foot, four yeah. foot ten. Yeah, he's like four foot ten. The guy was, was six like six foot, foot five. Yeah, like and then he punched the guy who was six foot five right in the face so hard you could hear from anywhere. Ooh, yeah. See, this is, we, we don't like violence, but they did trigger him. They did yeah. trigger him, and that's not nice. That wasn't nice at all. Um, see, this is the thing. Right? I think. See, I think now only because I'm not there anymore in school and all. Like when I was there, it wasn't as big a deal, and. In fact, it would have been kind of like, oh, just see Keen Toomey's video or just see Dano's new video. It was funny. But I don't actually think there was anybody in our school making videos at the time. Even I wasn't really. Like, yeah. I always had a YouTube channel. But I didn't go around being like, oh, uh, social liberal, look up YouTube. It was literally just be like going around with the camera at home. It wasn't like, I'm online, follow me, everyone. I was just posting what I had on my camera. And it was just fun. I was a kid doing what I wanted to do. But like, now people are like, taking it a bit too serious it's like i have a thousand followers now i'm a big deal and then someone else will laugh at you for that do you know yeah. what i mean yeah, <laughs> oh, it's like it's hard, hard to know how to feel people are gonna hype you up the bits and then people will be like oh would you stop yeah see this is what happens when you leave school oh, Nick, no it doesn't even matter anymore like i was like i had loads of friends in school you know what i mean i didn't dislike anyone i got along with everyone in the whole school but now I think I only like talk to like three of them and I'm like doing grand. Do you know what I mean? And I've loads of other different types of friends. You need different social circles. And when you have yeah. all that, you're grand. You've got stuff, you've got friends here, there and there. You don't need best friends in school or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? So fuck all that past shit. When you get out there, you're on your own anyway. That's true. I'm out here walking around on my own, chatting away to you guys. You know, bother to me. 
Anyone can laugh at me if they want. I go out there purposely to get a laugh. Whether you're laughing at me or with me, he's going home to tell a funny story. And I'm okay with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, uh, a... that, that's, that's one thing that's great about the podcast. It, it def- definitely would help with your confidence. Because mm. it just, you have the ability to talk to anyone about whatever. Like we're yeah. talking absolute shite and we've never, we've never talked before. Yeah, we just started talking, like, well, how many minutes ago? Like, tell me, it's uh, crazy. Yeah, we've been talking for 40, 40 minutes. And, like, we just met, and we were just chatting away. Hey, we're Irish. It feels like I kind of know you already. You know what I mean? You're down That's the, the best part about it. <laughs> as soon as you hear the accent, you're like, oh, come on. Like, That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. great, Craig. No, that's exactly, like, I agree with the with the Irish thing, because when I, I was over in Australia from November to February, and any time I heard an Irish person, I was like, <laughs> yeah. they're Irish, they're Irish. Especially in America. If you got someone Irish in America and they're on high, you'd be like, hey. or, or if you can see you wear the jersey, you just shout out like, what the doves? And, and he's wearing a, like a Mayo jersey or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the big thing. If, if they're wearing a guy jersey, that's it. No, oh, you're sorted then. <laughs> There's not a chance they're any other like <laughs> any other type of person. No chance. Irish. And they're up for the crack. I think exactly. everyone wearing a jersey on holidays is always up for the crack. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in a Dublin jersey in like a different country. Like no, no one's gonna know what. Yeah. What the crack is there? <laughs> <laughs> no, Never mind if you wore a Mayo one. I think, see, when you wear like the ones that have mad colours, they stand out and everybody around the world starts to notice. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of Americans are Irish-American and they do that whole Googling thing and looking at the flags and the, all that crack. So they're like, oh, we know that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have a lot of American family who love GAA, the but they're way into G- like I. I'm not even. I'm not even that into it. They'd be like, "Did you see the All Ireland final?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's the only one I've seen. I didn't see anything else." Like, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't have the passion for the GAA like you guys. Like, I think I think you have a bit of a GAA kind of love and vibe coming from your ears. Nope. No. I'm a, I'd, I'd a archery. <laughs> archery. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I actually seen oh. that on your page. How does that go? I thought I was good at archery once, but like. To be a champion, uh, it's it's good crack. Uh, I I do it. It's more of a exercise thing. Oh, what I get you to meet, about archery. Yeah, uh, get to meet all these cool people. Yeah, uh, that seems cool. It's good fun. No, I tried. I bought I bought a bow once when I was like younger. I had like hundred euro from my doll, and I was like, I'm buying a bow today. <laughs> <And> terrible <laughs> idea, because couldn't fucking use it. Wasted me doll, buddy. Never used the ball again. <laughs> That's fair. Do you know what kind it was? was oh, it was one? only, I think it was a kid's one. I couldn't afford the big one. It was like steel, had purple handle in the middle of it. It was black. Um, I, t- to honest, which, I think it was just the size of it. Because I wanted to put it all the way back here. The thing, the, the, the arrows would come off the bloody thing if you pulled it back this far. I was like, there's yeah. no power in it. You're already supposed to get it to here. Oh really? Like against your your jaw and your lip and under your chin. <coughs> so I suppose you need to have more pounds of power, and then it just makes no difference. You don't need to pull it far back. You just if, need to if, have it. If you got wire. it past here, that's just gonna explode in your face. Oh shit! You're gonna take your head off. Yeah. Like, that's that, crazy. that string connects to your face oh, anywhere. Shit. Oh shit! You're looking like Two Face from Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Not into that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's bad crack. <laughs> what else did we do with it? I tried, what was the, what's this new craze going around that everybody's doing now? Was it a hoverboard for a while? Tried that, didn't get into it. What else is going on lately? There's loads you of try, trends. Try skateboarding? I tried skateboarding a couple of years ago. <clears throat> um, I could land a kickflip, but only stationary. I could go, <laughs> you know, go. That's about it. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I stand on a skateboard and I instantly feel like uh, everything's crumbling around me. Oh yeah, you're like no. I used to be mad into it and then uh, yeah. I left it out in the rain for too long and it was just in bits. Oh, it comes I feel off like everyone soggy, had yeah. that skateboard when they were a child. Like, <laughs> uh, like you leave it out and like you try and pick it up again like five years later and it's... the board just goes. Yeah, and it's all chipped to it. pieces. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bits, you know, you're pulling wood lice off it. Yeah. It's like, it's, oh, like a, it's like a piece of rubber. You're just like... 
I did. I tried skateboarding. I tried rollerblading. Have rollerblades in the boot of my car always. Got them in Colorado. <laughs> I think I used them once in Ireland. Took a video of me going down a big ramp. Went flat on my ass and never put them on again. <laughs> <laughs> So these things with wheels, like if, if I'm not in a car with a seatbelt on, I don't want to be on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, you ever met any big celebrities? Um, probably have. I see, You're this a celebrity is story. my memory now. So, like, I've been on Vikings, so I've met all this cast of that, like chit chats and random bumping into it, like Gabriel Byrne and what's your man, the, the Radker guy. Uh, I don't know their actor names. I know their character names. You know what? Like... But yeah, what, everyone. Who, in... who Baradka was it? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know um, he was Vikings. I was telling you, but he's... Didn't do too well either. Got killed off first season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, no, I've kind of. Where would my stories be then from? I've met a lot of people. See, just the thing. I worked on, like, uh, what else did I do? So I did Vikings. I did, Jesus, I can't remember. See, I have the worst memory in the world. I can't really tell you why on screen, but uh, it's, it's the type of thing I do every day. It's not good for your memory. So o- over the course of every day of your life, you miss some days because you're like, that was awesome. And then I can't remember it the next day. Did you catch me drift where I'm going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. <laughs> but I was just breathing in some fine H2O right there. You know what I'm saying? Breeding H2O, H2O. Yeah, it? I'm a fish. I'm a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, no, but I can't tell you any, like, like, I literally, when someone asks me that, I go blank. But then you give me an hour, I'll be able to, like, I was on the set of this, I was on the set of that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how it works. It's weird. It's confusing. That's fair. And plus, like your story, you were on the set of what uh, normal people, you bumped into your man, you didn't even know he was an actor. It's just how he was an extra. That happens to me all the time. You're just walking around, well, how are you? How are you? We all look the same. Next thing you know, you get home. Actually, here's a funny one for you then, right? Do you know the show Red Rock? It's on, it was on... Uh, Red Rock, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, on... Yeah, heard of it, yeah. Uh, when that started up, they were doing open cast and auditions, you know what I mean? So everyone go up, audition for it. The mm-hmm. first uh, day I got there, I was in the queue for about an hour and a half, a long queue. But the guy in the queue beside me, he was go crack. I was chatting to him for the whole hour and a half. We were like, oh, this is going to be cool, you know, yada, yada, yada. Have you done nothing before? Yada, yada, all that crack. Uh, he went in, grand, never seen him again, yada, yada. I got loads of callbacks, which was deadly. And I got to the very last callback. It was between me and one other person. And it was for a guy called Jesus. And turns out the actor who I was supposed to be friends with had a friend who looked like Jesus, so the connection was way better. So he went off, got the part, fair enough. But turns out the main actor of the show was the guy that was in the queue with me for an hour and a half. I was like, what? He got the part! He got the main part! So that was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Mad, those, yeah. Those casting things are really funny. Yeah. Uh, there was one on for a movie with... Uh, uh, do you know The Last, the last Jewel? Uh, a mo- the movie The Last Jewel? Yeah. There's a huge uh, casting for us. It right. hasn't come out yet. Um, uh, I remember going to do the uh, casting part of it. And like an entire block was just a circle of people. So they had to like... Yeah. So just think, <laughs> think, think, think of a square, yeah? And oh, then they had yeah. to like branch off and then keep going. Man, you should have seen Vikings. Did you see the queue when they did open casting for Vikings first season? It was all over Dublin City. They were wrapped around blocks. People didn't know what they were queuing up for. They were just standing in the queue then. It was that big. It was, <laughs> it was weird. It was so big of a queue. I was like, and we were trying to skip the queue. We didn't know where the fucking thing started. It was going yeah. around like five different buildings in a square, as you said. But like, how, where's the start or the end of that thing? <laughs> exactly. And people didn't even know. Yeah. Like, am I near the front? Am I Am yeah. I the very back? You don't even Oh man. Am I next? You, you wouldn't know. Um, yeah, and uh, what else was it? Da, 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 da. I was going to say one other thing there. Da, da, da. What was we saying there? Oh, it was on the tip of my tongue. Ooh. Casting. Casting. Something about casting. Oh, I went over to do... Uh, I, I tried to audition for Big Brother once when I was younger. Didn't make it. But got into the stage where you go and chat to all the people. Like you, Oh, big queues. I went to London 
and it was in like that big arena that they do football in all in and uh, there was loads of celebrities past big brother heads walking up and down just kind of chatting to people so that was kind of a celebrity moment in a way Frankie Cacosa he was big at the time when that was going on I don't know who he is now anymore. I'd say I'm bigger than Frankie now. Go on, boy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, with the culture vibe, uh, you kind of got like a Hardy book kind of thing going on. Did you ever watch that? I did. I love Buzz. I've, I've met Buzz a few times. And actually, we, ha- we had him on. He's great. Yeah, guy. I know. I've seen that. I said, I can't believe you got Buzz on. He's mental. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, I went he's, to a, he's uh, one, of the, one of the boys uh, did a few videos with him. And... Uh, I went for a little meeting with Monday, and then he invited us to his, his stand-up show. Went to a stand-up show, deadly crack. Then after the stand-up show, we all went to the green room and just kind of have like a few drinks and all. And so it was like pretty much like five of the Hardy books were there. They're all getting locked. Was that was... the lads from Three Books Left? No, another Hardy books. Uh... Oh yeah, Three Books Left. Um, who was it? Your man, Peter Cassidy, Stephen Kelly, Michael Sam. Uh... Salmon, Salmon, and was it Cowboy? Was it the Cowboy lad? Stephen yeah. Kelly, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, Sport, okay. obviously, yeah. Yeah. And we were in the drinking, and Salmon is mad. He's mental. He give him a pint, he'll put that pint away. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a monster. We're getting him on. <laughs> uh, we, we were on with three bucks left, and he he wasn't available at the time, so we're trying uh, to get him on yeah. separately. Uh, he is good, crack now. Uh, they're all. Fucking brilliant crack. See, that's oh, what I oh, like. Oh, See, I oh, like meeting them, mixing them, mingling with them all. Yeah. yeah cool. that's Irish, the Irish culture, it's cool. There's not millions of us like Americans. Like, only the top ones get known. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. every, like if you're kind of like just doing well in Ireland, everyone respects that. You know what I mean? You're, you're known enough in Ireland, like. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the problem then. Like, I don't know if my channel is ever going to be big. Like, you think, oh, you're doing well. You've got 20,000. I think, to me, I don't know if it's big or not because in all the American channels, you have millions. And then you're there with your 20. And then the channel I work for has hundreds of thousands. And I'm like, I'm only on 20. It's like, I don't know how to compare the numbers anymore. So I've, I'm, I'm, un, I'm not t- in touch with the numbers anymore. They, they're, they're confusing. They're hard to make sense of now. Yeah. Put a video yeah. up the other day on YouTube, it got the same amount of views as it always gets, med seven dollars. But right, it got less views than one that only med three. I'm like, wait, what is how does it work? Nobody knows. <laughs> it's, how, it's, it's, how, it's how many ads people see. Uh, so it's if weird. you have an ad at the start and the beginning, you get twice as much. If you have one in the middle as well, you get three times as much. Yeah, but I've only it, started to unlock all them features because you go up into YouTube, they unlock all the features for you or something. Yeah. Double-edged sword, though. Like, you can put ads in for every fucking second. But who's going to want to watch your video? Yeah. No, like, honestly, the only... Like, I I did it wrong. I was making 10-minute videos specifically for the reason that you can put more ads in them. But I wasn't putting more ads in them. I totally forgot. So I was wasting my time. <laughs> I could have been doing nice, handy seven-minute videos. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but that standard yeah. of having it to be 10 is hard. Hard man. Or sometimes I'll go, I do a weekly vlog on my channel. Every week I've started doing them up to like 12 now, right? But it's just yeah. whatever I'm doing in the week, bang it up. But at the end of the week, is like an hour and a half, two hours of footage. And I need 10 minutes of it. That's a nightmare. And I'm only editing it on my phone. And there's no like shortcuts. So everything is just touch, touch, take your time. Sometimes I leave it till fucking three hours before it has to go uploaded. And I'm frantically editing the thing, hoping I get it up then, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah. We're, we're not the same we, we kind of like all right we've a guest on at two o'clock okay it'll be up by three what guest yeah. on it's at like, 11 we'll have it up at 20 past 11 uh let me, See, let me rephrase it's usually like uh oh we have a guest on at eight o'clock oh wait shit no they were meant to be on uh an hour from now or an hour ago <laughs> and then yeah <laughs> i don't know but uh we, we we had an australian guy and we gave him the wrong day Oh shit! Because it was like time uh, difference. Yeah, yeah, because he was like, oh like yeah, Monday five, five o'clock. o'clock. But uh, for him, he was a day ahead of us. <laughs> it's like, yeah, can we... <laughs> no. He was like, can we do um, the twenty third or something like that at like nine o'clock in the morning? And we we're like, uh, okay. And that was like ten o'clock or twelve o'clock for us. Like, and we we're like, PM. oh shit. <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah. You can see with us anyway. We weren't really pushed for what time to do it. I think it's better that we did it when you're walking because you're getting. I'm just getting chilling. Walking. Yeah, I've not going to lie. All this weird stuff I've done doing. 17 laps of St. Stephen's Green Dog. See, I see the same people over and over. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's I'm going to loop my lap out of here now on this exit. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, I know, this is good crack, boys. I love that you are fucking doing it and keeping active at it. Some people say they're going to do stuff. Oh, I'm a YouTuber. When do you upload? Whenever. That doesn't work anymore. It has Every to be... single day. Maybe twice a day. That's what you doing. guys do. Sometimes, oh, yeah. Daily podcast. Whoa, that's Joe hard Rogan work, boys. See, I would have said three times a week is perfectly fine, but you're knocking out the dailies. That's yeah. the way to grow. That's the way to grow. Yeah, we've, we've grown pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, kind of halted at the moment, but sure. Yeah, fixed was, at some point we were just like, <laughs> and we were like, Put this way, like numbers will skydive, rocket down, shoot up. They're just so stupid, the numbers. As long as you just forget about the numbers sometimes, I just keep going because yeah. you're always going to go the right direction. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. As long as like you keep I, making content. I could lose like a thousand it. subscribers. In a day, and they'll be like, fuck. And then, like, two weeks later, they'll be back. So don't worry about it. They're just, they'll come and they'll go. Yeah, they'll go on. That's, that's, the, that's the story with it. So, yeah, don't be, don't be too political either, boys. I know. You yeah, know, we, we don't. I tried that. Don't. It doesn't work. Oh, you can't wait. We, we tend to stay away from political things here. Yeah, because it gets just people going, and it's good to get everyone riled up. But there's no real good outcome out of it. Only everyone annoyed at each other. <laughs> exactly, yeah. The, the worst thing we've ever said in this was, uh, we don't like cancel culture. Yeah. We don't like cancel culture. And then everyone was like, oh, you support? And then you're the bad guys. Even though I'm like, I don't like cancel culture either. But it's still a bad what they're doing. But like, let's figure it out a different way to do it. Cause they might let, let's wait till it's proven. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, people, like one second of it being online and everyone's like breaking news. And then it was like, oops, sorry, I misspelled the name. It wasn't even that guy. And it's all over news already now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It's fucking uh, Like, I'd be a fan of waiting. If, if it was an actual crime, let them deal with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I don't see why I would have to hop on fucking Twitter and start ripping it to someone. Yeah. Because we like, talk a lot about mental health, but like, even if, if it's not proven, you're just talking shite to this person. Yeah. See, that mental health, I'm big on mental health because fucking hell, I suffer with that. You can be a clown on the internet now and you can go home to your lonely room then. So yeah. mental health is a big thing. People need to worry. Uh, definitely think about that a bit before you start online because it does put a little toll on you because it's a hard work. And you have to deal with people giving out to you in the comments. That's true. Um, Thankfully, the no, comments are usually sound. Do you know what I mean? It's never not too bad. But some people get slated out of it. And that will just be like, oh, shit. It's like hard to laugh some things off when it's like 100 people saying horrible things. I've seen it happen in the try videos. And, like, it's just crazy how, like, the internet just allows it. There's no, like, yeah. you know what I mean? How can you police that? Yeah. But I, I literally, because then some, like, person might be typing a sentence and have a word that shouldn't be allowed and then all like you know what I mean you can't police it it's dodgy stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's how we get here <laughs> <laughs> I tell you well, what's the YouTube channels that you guys like to watch like my type of stuff is like I like Vsauce those interests and stuff I like how ridiculous those three Australian dudes they're hilarious yeah um, I like all that big crack. What's my big thing? Who do, who do I watch then when they come out? Steve-O's podcast. He's good. Did you ever see Steve-O's podcast? Yeah, Steve-O's podcast. He's got a few yeah. cool people, yeah. I met Steve-O, actually. Yeah, that's the story. Met him in Dublin Airport. What? Uh, that's yeah, he, cool. He uh, that's cool. put up on his Instagram, hey, guys, I'm coming to Ireland to do like my stand-up show. If anyone comes to meet me at the airport dressed as a leprechaun, free tickets. And I was like, What? I was like, oh, sure, we have to go. We have to. It's only down the road. Let's go. Anyway, I got my friend Fabu. He came with me. I said, fuck the leprechaun. I'm going to go address Jesus. Because I got it'll be funnier. You know what I mean? Do my whole <laughs> Jesus. So I got there. We were all standing around the waiting area waiting for him to come out. And we're all looking around. Next thing you know, we all kind of copped that there were like just random people waiting there with like bags and like green and like ginger hoodies, ginger beards and all that tucked under their arms. 
We were like, are you all waiting for Steve-O too? And then we all like, yeah. So we all got in a big group, started putting on our costumes. And then when Steve-O came out, he was like, no way. He had the camera out. He got us all <laughs> on it. And then he said to chat to us all individually afterwards, take pictures, sign stuff. He's the coolest person ever. That's class. Yeah. And I got a little video on my phone where I blessed him. So I was like, oh, yeah, I get a video. <laughs> and then he was, I was like, I was dressed as Jesus in the middle of the airport, blessing you. I was like, welcome to Ireland. And he was expecting me to like do something to him. He was looking at me like I was going to hit him or something. I don't know. But it was fucking cool. <laughs> See what that's, I mean? I didn't even nice. remember that story. Yeah. <laughs> that's a big fucking story. I know, man. Yeah, but... things, I've just so many of them now. They're all just blur. Would, would you be a fan of the Joe Rogan podcast? Oh, I love Joe Rogan. He's funny. He, he, the, pe- mainly the people he has on. I wouldn't watch every podcast, but when there's a good person on it, that's when I'm in, you know? Yeah. That, that's kind of the story with this podcast as well. We have a guest every single day. Uh, I, like, most people don't watch every episode. Like, that'd be kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah, but uh, if you've seen like we had the Hardy books on, we have yourself on, you know, you check that out if you're into that stuff. We well, have ghost like, hunters on. If you're into ghost hunting, you put you watch that one. Like, yeah. See, I hope I'm not fucking let down because I don't. I don't feel like my. Like I don't know why you have me on this thing. I'm just a lad walking down the road. You know, that's the feeling I get from sure. it. So Look, I hope it works for you. Suppose, yeah. <laughs> We're just fucking Irish shite blown in the wind. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Write that um, down and put on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Irish shite. I'm legging it across city streets here. Is that even, is Jay walking a thing in Ireland? <laughs> Should we find out soon? They tried to bring <laughs> that in once and no one ever copped onto it. Do you know, uh, speaking of like stuff like that, someone sent me, I, when I was in Australia, I met a few people and... Uh, just there, like, I think last week or two weeks ago, one of them sent me a picture, and it was apparently that... Hold on, let's see if I can find it now. Uh, I think it was all these, like, hard drugs that had been legalised for a day in 2015. Yokes! Yokes, I remember that day. <laughs> yeah, everything, like, all, it was, like... I it was all, yeah, it was, it was, like, class A, it was a class A in, in that kind of a thing. And yeah. uh, apparently, like, yolks, yolks, like, pills and all were on, on that category. So for a whole 24 hours, lads were going around with pills and all, like, messing in with the guards and all. Nothing they could do about it, which was crazy. That, I don't know why you would do that. Because in the morning, they're going to know you do pills. <laughs> yeah, but it was legal. If, I guess if you, if you took it, like, even an hour before it changed. Yeah, you'd be grand. You'd be grand. You did it during but, that time. But now, he, now he's looking at you, being like, keep nine him. He's into that sort of thing. I would have kept myself way out of that. There's no need to go and show on everyone. I'm not into that shit now. I'm a, I'm a very chill dude. Barely yeah. drink alcohol, to be honest with you. I only started drinking alcohol. See, this was me, right? I was a pioneer up until 21. No, wait, wait, wait. 24. Sorry, correct that. 24. So I didn't drink. I didn't drink or smoke cigarettes till I was. I, didn't, I never smoked cigarettes, but drink. 24 was the first sip of alcohol I ever had. I'm 26 Jesus. now. So I went the distance. I went as far as I could, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then into, into the world of tri channel and all that. And I wasn't doing any drinking shoots. And I met cool people. And we were going partying all over the city every other day of the week. I was like, if I'm ever going to fucking drink, it may as well be now. So I started. <laughs> <laughs> and I regret it. If I could take anything back out of my whole life, I would never start drinking alcohol. Just think it's the worst one. It's the worst it one, is, in my opinion. It, I don't understand why that one's allowed. Yeah. That one's it, a lot less harmful. Like, I have bad memories of alcohol, not just because of me, because all bad memories of stuff happening around. Like, like if you think of, like, name five bad things that happen to you in your life. Like, some of them could have been just related to alcohol. Like, oh, my dad was pissed one day. Rah, rah, rah. You know what I mean? It's just stuff yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Mm. So... I just think if everybody was going around taking an owl puff of the green smoke, everybody would be chilling out a little bit better instead of baiting the heads off each other. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand that. Fair enough, yeah. I don't think anyone understands it or why it is the way it is. So, and we're just going around letting it happen. I don't know. We can't do nothing about it anyway, so what can you do? Yeah. yeah. I love driving around with the most expensive fuel prices in Europe. It's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. You hardly live in Dublin, do you? No, I live in Kildare. 
Oh, you're not too far still, yeah. Yeah, down to Monastreven and Kildare. Drive oh, up to Dublin every day. 80 euro a week of petrol I spend, man. Fucking hell. Oh, oh, that's mad. You could get rent or something with that. <laughs> 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 yeah, you probably could. Jesus. That's, um, that's mental. What, what yeah. are you looking up there, Jordan? Tell you what, boys. Uh, uh, Dublin, one of the most expensive places to live in our in an, uh, Oh, yeah, Europe. Or even the Europe. world, if, I yeah. would say. It's almost Th- the Thomas big cities, up like. once, and it, it, was, uh, it was number one, but it's saying number five here. Oh, really? We're five now? Yeah, we're five now. It's getting better, so it's... Getting better a bit. We're fifth. It's only Woo! five or cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Still, Student still, discounts. The average Student rent discount. is two grand a month just to live in an apartment in Dublin. Um, that's like fucking three times my mortgage at home in the countryside with an acre of land. So I don't yeah. understand that. <laughs> crazy. Location, mental. location, my whole. Greed, greed. Sure, what the fuck is that? Um, what was I if you say? actually typed in this, I seen this, right? It was so cool. And not cool. It was kind of sick at the same time, right? I typed in the prices of the houses. You can get mansions around the world on like unbelievable amounts of land and unreleased scenery for half the price of like just a really nice apartment in Dublin See, City. Seen like, that what? before. Uh, yeah. For 50, 50 grand, you could buy a mansion in Spain, uh, just outside Barcelona. Uh, you can buy any kind of house in Greece that you want. All these Mediterranean like perfect spots, you could just buy them for nothing. But then like Dublin, you could, you could buy a bin for that much. One second. I'm on a podcast here. Look who else it is. Do you recognize this guy? How are you getting on? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's Jamie J. Carr, everybody. <laughs> here, I'm mad. just going to finish. Are you in? You in? Yeah. I, no, I was in. Uh, are you going up? Yeah, I go up. I'll just do this podcast yeah, yeah. with you. So. Yeah, yeah. Go oh, fuck. Yeah, we'll. <laughs> it's only the fucking J car, mate. Find yourself. <laughs> Wear a mask. You'll see it online later on. <laughs> so, yeah. Because you're meeting everyone. You're meeting all you. people all the time, and you, you never know. <laughs> so, you know him from the channel, and all. Yeah. He's on the right hand. He just come out of one. That's mad. Perfect. And how far away are you from the place? Oh, two minutes. <laughs> we'll finish up in the next two minutes, so. Cool beans, yeah. Um, it. If people want to check you out and they want to follow you, where can they find you? Right, the best thing you want to do to find me is just Google Irish Jesus and then sit back and laugh for the next hour because there's loads of <laughs> shit. Get stuck in, boys. Yeah, you'll Get find me there. In. Everything's on that. We definitely will, yeah. Um, you two were fucking sound. Send me, boys. Cheers, you're a legend. This is like just most chill, deadly podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're out, we're out doing some kind of hard uh, interview. We're just chilling, having a chat. Yeah, you didn't get me with any scary questions. I'm happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's we, yeah, we try not to catch people out. Yeah. But, but we do sometimes, but like nothing bad. It's something funny. Oh, yeah, if it's something funny, go ahead. Like, like mm-hmm. if there was a movie about you, who would you want to play you? I'd be like, oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> who would who do you think would play me? That's the question. Jesus, I don't um, know. I think Owen Colligan would do you pretty well. Oh, how about how about uh, I'm Jack Black with a wig? Jack Black. Oh, oh my God. I just like his vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah he, he <laughs> oh god, yeah, that's that's great. Right, you have to go off and do your may, stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll say no. this when it's up. Uh, you know, take it handy. Have Take a, a ham day. and cheesy, boys. Sorry for getting on, by the way. No problem. Thanks for having me on, lads. Deadly crack. Take it, Andy. Woo!